hello everyone so welcome in the new video in this video we will going to see how to use analog to digital converter of this stm32 bit series microcontroller and we will use this part number stm32 f103 c6 this is protest simulator and first of all we will create a circuit right so basically what we will do we will simply uh, connect one uart first of all uh, you have to give the supply voltage right so in power rail you have to give the voltage right and uh, now we will give 3.3 volt okay to this microcontroller and we have to connect this ground to the vss now supply voltage is uh, given to this ic now let us see first of all with which particular pin the adc is there and how we will going to use it so for that you have to open this stm32 cube ide create new stm32 bit project now here we have to select our part number 103c6 click on next give any name test one two three four finish okay take some time now first thing is you have to connect the crystal okay and second thing is we will enable uh, one particular adc so let us click on this pa0 and here you can see yes on pin 0 you have this uh, adc1 in zero so we will enable this simply right and we will print this value on uart so in this connectivity we will enable this uart1 right so now this is uh, what our final system is now click on this code generation and it will generate code so our project is test one two three in source open the main file right now uh, let us uh, connect this our uart is pin number 9tx 10rx okay so i will use one virtual terminal 9tx so we have to connect this tx with rx and 10rx so you have to connect this rx with tx right and now one more thing is we will uh, connect the supply because our adc is with pa0 so let me uh, use power pin right power supply dc source okay and uh, let us connect this with this pin okay initially zero volt is given right so this is what our circuit is now let us check in this code okay so now what we will do uh, we will simply check okay uh, do you think that gpio in it adc in it user in it right and uh, here you can see we have two handler one is for adc one is for uart so remember these two now what i will going to do i will create one variable declare one variable okay and uh, i will give name this variable in well right it's an input value of this adp with this i will also create one character array okay and that will be our message size is of let us say 10 okay
now along with this let's start writing this adc code for adc so now you can see this driver right and here you have to search for the start okay or more precisely adc underscore start why oh, think it's a case sensitive no one minute let me check in this oh yes so here is the function right both dma as well as this so let us copy this function and paste over here in bracket we have to give the handler of our adc which is hadc1 right so now this line will start our adc okay now second we have to use pole for conversion so i think here you will find the same function let us search for the pole for conversion yes this is so this will basically no this is not pole for conversion again check you can find here only pole for o so now let us check okay yes here okay adc pole for conversion right so use this okay and uh, here you have to give two argument one is this handler right and second is timeout so let us give larger value with this so it will stop this conversion right and finally we will read our value of adc into the variable and for that we have this function hal underscore adc underscore get value okay you can find the same function in the this driver if you wish to find and then give this handler right so now we have this uh, value so now what we will do we will simply copy this value into the message okay using as printf function right so we will copy this value into the message and we will also add this uh, carriage return and new line so that all the new line will all the new value will print on new line okay and finally we will use ur transmitter okay to transmit the value on uart right you can find this function in the this uart driver if you want to find so here is the function right and arguments are like so let us copy this function argument is first handler of the uart okay so you can write this h uart1 okay second is which data you want to write right so we will use our message and we will do this type casting over the message we will convert this into unsigned integer rate value right and then here we will simply write length of the message right it's actually size so we can write 
length of the message and finally time out so again you have to write some larger value okay so this is what the function this is what the program is okay and now since we are using this s printf so we have to include that stdio.h file okay now let us check first of all okay so zero error and now let us release the target then we have to do this following changes to generate the hexadecimal file because we have to generate it so in post bit convert hex file click on release it will create release folder here and you can just copy the path so that we can access the created hexadecimal file and now load the same on the created board you can see the hexadecimal file and now run it let us check oh some garbage value is there this is probably because we have not set the board rate board rate is different right so we have to set this board rate to 9600 right again rebuild the file and now check so here you can see it is continuously printing 0000, 0, 0, 0 right now let us stop this change this value to 3.3 .3 and check what this will print and here you can see 4095 right and this is because we are giving maximum value which is actually reference voltage 3 volt right so it is giving this 4095 okay now let us change this input from this we have voltage to the temperature sensor let us give lm35 okay lm35 is a temperature sensor so we will simply replace this with our temperature sensor right and since you know that in lm35 maximum output voltage will be 3 to 1.5 volt right so let us check maximum value it will be different but let us check what is the maximum value for 1.5 volt the value is around uh, 1867 right so now from this calculation if you will see that we have this uh, 4095 for 3.3 volt right and here output is 1.5 so we can simply check the probable value right so if with 3.3 volt if 4095 value is there then with 1.5 volt 1.5 into 4095 divided by 3.3 so it should be 1861 right so let us calculate using 1861 so this is maximum value when the temperature is 150 or you can say output voltage is 1.5 volt right so this is for 150 so let us recalculate this for one degree change right one uh, what we can say one count change so 1865 for the 150 or you can say 150 for 16 one eight six one so for one how many you know values will be there how much values will be there for digital uh, value right so we can simply say one eight six five divided by one fifty right no no sorry uh, one eight six one one fifty 
divided by 1861 okay so this is the value so if you will multiply this with the output voltage then you will have this temperature value right so let us check this 1861 into our calculated value and you can say 150 right so simply we can change this formula or you can say we can add this formula in our code right in our code we have this raw value input value so we will simply add this line input well is equal to input well into our calculated value right and now just rebuild it now this circuit should display the temperature and here is the temperature 150 you can see if i will change from 150 to let us say 25 so based on the calculation it should display 29 let us say 29 temperature is there same way 22 then 22 same way 12 then 12 okay so this is how you can convert this temperature sensors output voltage into temperature and this is what the adc so this is what for today's video if you really like my work then please like my videos and subscribe my youtube channel thanks a lot